please for everybody is new or someone he played with bots a lot don't ever spy the refinery factory if you play online if you play against bots you can do it you can earn a lot of money from spying bots you can get like a hundred thousand dollar you get from it but if you play with every player online he will not gonna keep this money safe you get the idea who are not gonna keep this money and they say oh my god what if happening if someone came and wanna attack me so I'm gonna keep this money on safe he will not gonna save it he's gonna always want to build units so I recommend you all the time to spy the battle lab war factory uh, infantry factory or you spy the power if you want to spy the super weapon you can do it spy the radar and I'm gonna show you all of it on the screen so always try this alternative option gonna be way way better for you you can use your spy in way better options so as an ally never ever ever spy the refinery factory this tip is about destroying enemy units by your nuclear power how by quitting the game so when his units became very very close to your nuclear power as a soviet what you actually do just quit the game and it's gonna be huge explosion same as a nuke so always do it if you have no other choice at least you do some damage so this tip is about promoting your tanks for free how you can do this if you have for example you see now i have four apocalypse one of them is a lead and the rest of them are veteran so what are you gonna do is let all the veteran units attack the war factories of your enemy so each one of them they get they get a lead so when another one gets a lead you pull it away so you keep doing this until you promote all your units this is my preferred method why i don't prefer that you mix the elite with a veteran unit or even with a with unit would have no promotion at all because the elite unit is way OP and can destroy everything in front of it so fast so all the other units were not gonna be promoted you see now I attack these miners with three of these apocalypse and you see the the fourth one that I want to promote it and not get promoted if your enemy his factories all of them his defenses everything is done only left for you the factories try to promote your tanks one by one by this technique so this tip is about hiding up the Chrono Legendary on the bottom right of the map. You see now, without super weapons, you see this small place where all the lines of super weapons, any team of all the team in the map are gonna be available. You see all these numbers there? And if I want to take the Chrono Legendary and put it there, person on the bottom right, he cannot see it at all. Or you can sneak on his base very, very easily. You see that? In a second, you can hit him. So you can hide it there or you can hide it behind the factory. Some people, they use it there behind the factory, behind big factories. You see now on Spice of the Light is I do it or sometimes behind the trees. I will do another detailed video about it in the future. So stay tuned for it. So not only one, you can use it. You can use both. You can use it at the same time. But now I have Seal and I have Corona Legendary, but you can use as much Corona Legendary as you want. Same as I show you in another video, I'll link it above. So you see, you can hide it there. You can attack and return it back to the same place and nothing gonna be happening you can use pair drop i saw a lot of people they use pair drop too you can put the pair drop in the bottom right there in exactly the same place and you can hide it there so you make the enemy go busy busy and then you can hammer him in two sides and you see a lot of his factory gonna be destroyed by this small pair drop it's very very effective so how can you protect yourself from this thing if you're on the bottom right you can use seal or you can use sniper or you can use GIs and you can put him there. Or you can use Desolator, Chrono Seal. When he go there, immediately got killed. So it's a very, very easy trick. You use it a lot to protect yourselves because you are in a severely disadvantage. This tip, I saw a lot of elite level players, they use it. They don't attack with a bunch of drones on a bunch of tanks. I always see they sneak one or two drones one at a time one at a time to just you know reduce his tanks amount because he will not gonna pay attention from one drone or two drone because he's gonna be busy you know he preparing and he attacking so i saw a lot of elite level players what they are doing they have for example 10 drones 
they can split one or two sneak one tank there one tank there two tanks there so at the end of the day after all this you see now from 20 is turned to 15 this disadvantage for him because he cannot build faster because you're gonna be all both of you are the same level of playing and you, you have something to notice that drone is built way faster than tanks that is another advantage if you get all these drones inside these tanks and sometimes these drones can carry from units to different units and another reason why i don't prefer personally to attack a with bunch of drones at the same time because he gonna notice it he gonna notice it so he gonna leave he gonna be pay attention so he gonna prepare for attacking it 